Hey guys, so today I've got a video for you on Caspa um, and I really feel like Cas is close to popping off. Can't guarantee that, but I just I have a feeling there's <clears throat> a lot of exciting stuff coming for Cas and a lot of reasons to be getting excited about this crypto. Um, so let's go and talk about that now. So yes, guys, Cass, um, I'm sure you're, you've all got g great interest in it. Um, so I'm going to be sharing some things that you're probably aware of, some things that you're maybe not aware of, and just where, where things might be going um, in the future. So just looking at a few things here on Twitter, um, I saw Crypto Phoenix, um, who is one of those uh, Twitter or X influencers that I really like to follow, and they're, they've got great tips. But they were just making a point that um, they're not sure if people really understand the effects that the KRC20 standard will have on CAS. Um, and that he said that as soon as tokens start trading on CAS, it will suck liquidity line, uh, I think he meant like a black hole. Um, low fees, no congestion, highly scalable, very fast transactions, secure, decentralized. Price action has been slow, boring for a long time, but current strength in downturn is another confluence that this is very close to a local bottom or it's already behind us and um, fundamental analysis and technical analysis seem to be aligning well here and uh you know he's not talking about the very short term he's saying next week but um not talking about the very short term he's saying here i'm rarely talking about the very short term but the short term price action is tough to nail down but he's talking you know more in the the, the, the upcoming months to um late at the end of this year that he sees Cass going well and he was actually referencing a post here from this person that said they just finished reading through the translated transcript from the Casplex meetup and um, now Casplex being the smart contracts um, utility that's been launched on top of Cas that's going to lead to KRC20 and KRC721 I think it's called where you're going to have a whole ecosystem built on top of um on top of uh cas and that that's what these two two guys are referencing here these two people are referencing here um and he i'm going to read through this document in a in a separate video but it's an interesting read as well and um, but he said here or they said here that my anticipation is that caspa rather sooner than later turns into a black hole sucking other chains dry of liquidity when the others are falling Failing badly to scale, the world can soon experience the beauty of Cas block dike. No more congestion, no more high fees, lightning speed with Bitcoin-like security. I look forward to read the uh, upcoming white paper. And although Cas was already my highest conviction play, my bullishness is only increasing. Um, and then he shared, or they shared the, the transcript script there. So I keep saying Dave because I don't, I don't know. These people are anonymous, so I don't know in a lot of situations whether they're. The guys or girls, I just presume a lot of times they're the guys. Um, but um, yeah, so, so basically, what what they're what they're both describing is when a whole ecosystem is built on top of Cas, you're going to have so many, um, so you know, so, so much use, so many use cases coming to the Cas platform. It's going to pump so much more money in terms of investment into the Cas platform. People investing, speculating, um, but then people for actual real use cases. And we've seen what's happened to you know Solana, Cardano, Ethereum, and um, blockchains like that that have in the past have had those ecosystems building up on them. So you know it's really it looks really exciting for Cas, especially since Cas is out of that in that that sector of typical kind of blockchain technology. It's the most decentralized, the most secure, and the most most scalable. So. Or it appears to be. I, you know, I don't, I don't know the whole market out there, but from what I can see, it is, and it's, it's, it's the ones delivering on Satoshi Nakamoto's uh, vision in the the most pure way. Um, so then Shai Desh, um, who you you probably all follow on X or are aware of, um, is one of the lead developers working on Cas at the moment, and they were discussing Casplex. So again, Casplex are the team that are working this smart contract functionality krc20 um krc721 and building casts uh so that it can actually it can actually serve a whole ecosystem on top of it um 
And Shai just said that Casplex is a project funded by Caspicef to implement Cas KRC20. I've met the team for a pleasant session where they presented their work and we engaged in some brainstorming with, with Shai. However, I or any of the core Rust developers and researchers are not involved in this development, so it is not my place to divulge any details. The one thing I do feel comfortable to say is that you will not be disappointed. So that's you know, a really bullish talk from, from Shai Desh. Um, and then if we look at Casplex and the roadmap that they have in place, it's pretty fantastic what's, you know, what's, th like this is all coming so quick. It's, you know, it's not, this isn't like some of those uh, roadmaps that you see that are going to take years. This This is happening, you know, basically almost overnight. So in March, we had just the tech research. They worked with low design, logo design, the, the development documents. Then in April, they developed Casplex Explorer and KRC20 Deploy, Mint, Transfer, Casplex Indexer and testing tools. Then in May, uh, they are running a closed beta, um, publishing their white paper, um, the, you know, building the Casplex community and then an open source indexer. So they're working on all this right now and a, a lot of this is going to be released close to the end of may might run into you know early june the way these things work sometimes but it'll be really interesting to see this white paper um and then in june they're going to work on the krc721 protocol that will be for nfts um non-fungible tokens on on the cast network and then um buy krc20 and krc721 with cast and other proposals so this is the you know official release is coming in june when um when when all this all this will be be released we're gonna have dexes on top of casts we're gonna have um i presume liquidity pools built on top of it. lots of meme coins i have no doubt released on it um probably able to uh, you know eventually be able to um stake or trade other cryptos on top of the the cast network look i'd not the most technical person in the world. I'm not going to know all the details of how this will work or what will be happening. All I know is that it's going to lead to an ecosystem being built on top of CAS. And I understand that. And I understand what that does to price. And that's that's where where my interest really, really lies. Um, I thought this was just an interesting picture. Look, we all know already about CAS and solving the blockchain trilemma. Um, and it does it in the purest form in terms of Satoshi Nakamoto's vision. Um. So, you know, the three three fundamental factors of the trilemma are decentralization, security, scalability. Um, and as you can see here, we're showing CAS as the one that has achieved all three of those. We can see then with Bitcoin, Litecoin and Dogecoin, they are um, all uh, secure and decentralized, but they are not scalable. And then as you can see, Ethereum, XRP, Cardano, Avalanche, all secure um, and scalable, but they they suffer from decentralization issues because of, um, you know, I know people will argue points that that they will say the things aren't aren't correct that some of their that you know what is true decentralization, but we're talking about what the standards are of what's considered scalability, decentralization, and secureness, and um, that you know that's important from. It's obviously important from a technical point of view, but it's where it gets really important to, to think of the way these terms are used in the crypto community. It's just in terms of how bullish it makes people on projects. And CAS is the first project that people believe that it's the most decentralized, the most secure and most scalable. And, it, you know, I believe that as well. I'm not I'm not doubting that. I'm just saying that Pete, there's many different schools of thought on that. Um, and then we have Solana, uh, which, you know, is super scalable. Or at least it claims to be, but it's not as scalable as it, it actually claims to be because there's so many failed transactions. But then it's got security is issues and decentralization um, issues. And you know that that blockchain is down so often as well. But, uh, um, you know, and then I, I would add, so I've, I've had people comment on my videos recently that ICP um, is apparently solves the trilemma as well. I don't know that in detail, um, but I've heard it's a great project, so that's an interesting one. I know then from a more left field stance that Cubic solves the trilemma in a different sort of way um, and super scalable, and that's that's a really interesting project as well. But 
what's important is that CAS is positioning itself as the, the silver of crypto to Bitcoin's gold and the follow-on from Satoshi Nakamura's vision and, and now it's building an ecosystem on top of it and that's going to make you know, it's going to really, really add to the price action of um, of CAS and should make it a, a big winner um, in in this, this this upcoming run. Um, and then this this person, the man with the ball with a ball, um, just spreading you know loads of interesting information and useful reads on CAS. Um, and they just said, "Do you understand what's coming?" Um, here I will show you how important it is to grab a bag of Caspa. He said that it took ADA 10 months to run from 3 billion market cap to a 91 billion market cap. CAS is at the same stage right now. Look at the moving average cost. Um, and then he said that it's the largest straw down consolidation CAS has ever had. Um, so he said then six months being stuck inside this, this range between 10 cent and 19 cent. Six months of a spring being compressed. What's it going to do when the pressure lets go? Um, stock RSI has, or Stoch RSI has bottomed and is turning up now, broken out on the weekly on a bullish falling wedge pattern. How many indicators do you want? Seriously, do you know how bullish this is? We haven't even started talking Casper's fundamentals yet. Okay, important guy. <laughs> I love those terms. I probably didn't even pronounce them correctly because I'm about to dive into understanding technical analysis uh, better which is something I should have done years ago and it's crazy that I haven't done yet but um, you know I don't all that to me I don't understand what it means but it looks good and a lot of people seem to share the sen sentiment that Cass is really setting up for a huge run but you know time will tell that then they said as I was saying in the last slide that Bitcoin is digital gold and Cass is digital silver and that's what it's positioned to sell as as really you know Bitcoin is, it's fantastic. I love Bitcoin as an invention, but it's useless rubbish, really. Um, but as an investment, it's it's the best performing investment. Like, it has to be one of the best ever, you know, and it definitely the best performing investment of the last, uh, what, like, f how long since Bitcoin's been around? 14 years or or whatever it is. It's one that, you know, it's, it's a great investment, but Casper as from a technical standpoint, is is far, far superior. Um, and not only does CAS you know, deliver on the Bitcoin vision, it's now delivering on the original vision that Vitalik Buterin had for Ethereum and what Ethereum couldn't achieve, CAS was able to do. So there's a really good chance that because CASPA is so pure in terms of how it's seen by the crypto community um, and how simple it is as a project, um, and the reason I say simple is because I, I love Cubic, but I know that Cubic is a, just a lot more complicated. But Cass is just positioned itself as digital silver um, and positioned itself as, you know, the thing that the blockchain and crypto community has always been trying to achieve and has finally managed to do it. There's a good chance that Cass is the crypto that will steal a lot of projects um, and from Solano and from... Um, Ethereum and from Cardano because they'll they'll see oh this is the pure thing that we've we've always been been looking for and you know all those developers they they really care about about this stuff um and then he said the KRC C twenty will be previewed in June the Rust upgrade will be completed and Caspa will be running ten blocks per second um you know Bitcoin does one block every t ten minutes and then he's just saying that you have the biggest trade of this cycle sitting right in front of you now. Again, I feel that Cubic is a super, super trade. Um, I feel that a lot of a lot could a lot of pro projects could go, you know, could could really give huge returns. But Cas is probably the safest bet by the looks of things. From you're almost, you know, I never want to say something's guaranteed, but you're just you're almost guaranteed um, winner in in the upcoming bull run. Um, and then, of course, with that rust upgrade. 10 blocks per second is is huge and the potential eventually for 100 blocks per second is, is going to be huge as well so it just makes CAS super super scalable while remaining secure and decentralized um, and then he said that here is proof of how fast the explosive Cardano move was he actually shared an image here but I didn't bother putting it in because it was kind of 
it's just a bit too much to be putting in. But he said, do you know how much more liquidity is going to be sloshing around this cycle instead of last cycle? That's very, very true. Um, well, I'll, I'll just I'll comment on that in a second. He said, do you know how many institutions like BlackRock are going to spend on huge marketing campaigns to get people outside of crypto here? Same goes with centralized exchanges. That's that's definitely true. Is there's going to be a huge push to get people all you know every, from all walks of life um, into crypto over the next year, and there's going to be a huge amount of money pumping into the crypto markets, and it, you know the crypto market as a whole is going to grow way higher than it's ever grown. But at the same time, I do think it's worth mentioning as well that there's. Uh, I think last month I heard that there was like a million new crypto tokens released um and i don't know how many were up to something like three million crypto tokens overall it's and you know most of those are scam tokens but there are so many projects now compared to 2021 and especially compared to 2017 so even with all that liquidity coming in it's not necessarily going to translate into every project's going to explode um but cas again looks like it should be positioned just because of the rhetoric that's around it to be to be really set, successful. So there is a good chance that I could hit those highs that Cardano hit. But again, I'm always I always stay on the pessimistic side and I just you know try to think more you know, I hope for the moon, but I always try and, you know, think of less. But like I it's very hard to see how Cast doesn't do a ten X from here. You know, that's quite quite hard to see, but 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 look, who knows? I d I don't wanna I don't want to say that will definitely happen because who knows. But then let's look at just some, you know, the the recent uh, kind of state of things with Cass. And um, it has just, uh, in, you know, in the last day, it's finally broken. Now, you know, as I said, I'm not into technical analysis. I'm doing just something very basic here. But I what I do know is that Cass just broke through uh, its, its most, um, its, it's uh, re resistance and you know the next resistance level now is going to be up um, here around uh, 14 cents so you would expect that it'll run up to up, run up to 14 cent in the next day day or two I know that's not huge news but then if it can break that 14 cent resistance we'll probably see you know a bit of an up and down at that 14 cent and then once it breaks that resistance resistance you know, then we're kind of expecting new all-time highs. Um, that's that's my understanding of it. Again, I'm not a person for technical analysis, at least not yet. I'll be able to share more some, some more interesting insights probably in the future. Um, but yeah, it's it's looking looking really good for Cass and this project. It it's as close to a guaranteed winner as you're going to get. It's you know just it's so unlikely that Cass fails from here and doesn't at least become a moderately su successful project, but most likely become a top 10, top five uh, project. So I can't wait to see what happens. And that's all I've got for you today, guys. I'll see you all on the outside.